You guys, I have a very special guest with me today. Someone who I've known since what, like 2011? Yeah. Dan Macro. Hi. Dan is such a good friend, but he also is a producer. He's a talent. He is now an author of his own book. Where's your book? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Dan's book. It's and called look, Suck It Up. Look how cute he is. So <laughs> basically, he has his book full of recipes, like quirky cocktails. And what do you describe your brand as? You said it today. It's effervescent meets 80 proof personality. Dan also helped produce and shoot my very first hosting reel before I was ever a host. I had like no hosting experience and Dan got me my first job. You had so much innate talent, it was easy. Oh my god. we were gosh. different people back then. We were struggling yeah. a lot. Struggle bus. It was like struggle bus city. Mm -hmm. And here we are. He has constructed four holiday cocktail recipes that are basically like your signature recipes at this point, right? I mean, yeah, they're definitely all stuff that we will be drinking at the Magro family Christmas. They'll definitely put us in the holiday spirit. I've made it a little game. We're gonna make a drink and I'm gonna tell you the name of the drink. Some titles are a little more obvious, but you have to guess what movie the drink is inspired from. Oh no. Do you like Christmas movies? Not a good quote movie person. You know, people can just start quoting movies. That's true. I feel like you're gonna do good because you're such a pop culture like like database that I feel like you got this. I'm not talking about like all the Hallmark, Candace Cameron Bure stuff. Uh, I'm not talking about it. These are some classic cult things okay. that you should have you should have seen. What do I win? You win four delicious cocktails <laughs> and a book. I'll do it for the book okay. because the children love the books. <laughs> So the first cocktail, I'm not gonna tell you the name until we're done, but okay. I'm gonna make it and you're gonna make it. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use gin. Okay. So you're gonna take, uh, you have a jigger there. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, those are No, cocktails. those are glasses. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do uh, one and a half ounces of uh, gin. Now these are different measurements because, because, um, so you have one and a half on the big end. But you also used to sling some drinks back in the day. Oh, so yeah. So don't like, you know, this is the first time. Wait, did you say I'm not supposed to go bigger? Should I stop? That was, that's extra. Okay. You can take that as a shot. <laughs> okay, so I'm that's extra, <laughs> so it works. Okay. This gin to me is literally rubbing alcohol. I know, it smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> it smells like, like Christmas after I've scabbed my knee and my mom like pours a bottle of okay, alcohol right. on it. Gin is a, like juniper berry forward spirit, so it's very popular in the UK. It's popular everywhere, but but um, they have different levels of like, this is boring, nobody cares, but they have different levels of like the intensity of the botanicals. This one is like a London dry gin, so it's kind of like kind of in the middle, not too much, yeah. but they all are very juniper. So if you're sensitive to that, which you are, yeah. it can be hard, but don't worry, we're gonna put other stuff in there. We're gonna mask it. Okay, mask it with lots of other stuff. The other thing that's really weird about cocktails is like in wine is like, dry is sexy like in no other context is something being called dry a Se good yeah, thing you want everything moist yeah oh that word is polarizing i cut you some lemons i do so you're gonna want to get uh three quarters of an ounce which is this measurement of lemons so okay you, you want me to do it do i do yeah. it like that i don't you know I, I want you to use that beautiful brain of yours and tell me how you think this works I, okay I, is it like that no it was it was it was right way. <laughs> it was okay right. Sorry. but when you tell I, me to use my brain then things go really wait, wrong i would hold this we should have to measure it so i would put it like directly like under wait this is why you're good at this wait Yes! Oh, it's spilling out! <laughs> Not such a yes! Wait, is this how they you do it in fancy hotels? You could usually do it just like this. Oh. There you go. It's because you have big, strong hands. Wait, so I'm just... just dump that up, yeah. Okay, got it. Great. Yeah. This is basically a, a variation of a gin sour, so we're gonna take this goji berry liqueur, which is really cool, Ooh. and we're gonna put a little bit of that in as a nice color. It has a little bit of something to do with the name of the cocktail in the movie, so you're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of maple syrup. Get the real stuff. Don't get the, like, Mrs. Butterworth's or whatever. Get the real maple syrup. Maple maple mm -hmm. syrup, okay. Like, from a tree. Three. Gin sours sometimes have an egg white in them. Disclaimer, if you're gonna eat raw egg white, like, do your research there's like ways you should do it so that you don't get salmon all. So you want to take your egg and you want to, I might mess this up too, I'm not like great at it. You want to crack it and separate the egg white only. Get all that egg white protein, girl. Uh, you want that little gloopy thing. I believe in you. We want that? Yeah. I feel like something like that has come out of my body. You do something called dry shaking, which is when you add an egg white, you shake it without ice to like froth up the proteins and make that foam. Take your, the second part of your shaker, put it on top, give it a nice little pack. And then shake it like really hard. And now we're gonna add ice to chill it. Here. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> I got it, I got it. I was a bartender for a long time. Look at that. So now we're gonna add ice. Uh, That's what I was 
I'm missing. Grab our strainer. Such big, strong hands. I... So the trick is with this, here's the thing, wait. So you want to actually like, this is good to know, you're like looking to like hit it straight across so that, oh, no, I'm not doing that. So that it kind of like moves. Mm. I think you put this on. Too tight. I know. See how it kind of like moved there? You're, yeah. It's compressing the air. Damn, girl. I'm really strong. Okay, wait, I got it. <laughs> Okay, so right now, before the phone goes down, we're gonna make this one cocktail, and then we'll see oh, if we sure. can come back. Okay, yeah. okay. So, you grab your strainer. Uh-huh. I'm gonna put it on this. Did you remember this from our dead thing? <laughs> all the way, yeah, get Over. all that. Ooh, look at that broth. Yes! That egg I killed it. I feel like... So, we'll open that in five years. This is called the Santa I Know Him Sour. Santa, I know him. It's Elf. Exactly. I'm gonna pick up some spaghetti. Okay. And I'm gonna kind of like drill it, like whatever you want to like do. Just add a little marshmallows. Okay. Add a little of this stuff. So now we're just gonna take a little bit of this is Bouvilli. I don't know how you say it. Bouvilli. Bouvilli chocolate vodka. Bouvilli. It's a little core now. It's actually one of my favorite things though. It's like sounds like I'm doing an ad for them, but it's honestly so good. Oh my gosh, this looks like sex in a glass. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Wait, this is gin. Mm -hmm. You know okay. what? I would never order this ever because it's gin in it, but it actually tastes really good. Okay, oh. drink two. I'm gonna actually break up the rules a little bit and tell you that this drink is called a Kevin McAllister. Oh, Home Alone. Yes. Okay. We're gonna take this stuff called, I know your favorite, you're a spirit sister, our favorite spirit is tequila. So um, I'm sure you've heard of like Fireball. So this is actually a cinnamon tequila. <gasps> So it's a cinnamon tequila, it's very nice. We're gonna do half an ounce of that into this thing. I mean, why do we just stop there? Like, you wanna do a little? You wanna? A shot. You wanna? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. So we are going to take a jalapeno, mm. and through the magic of television, we are going to, God, look at that, it's already sliced. So we're gonna but take you it. Did it literally. <laughs> We're gonna put this in, and do you know how to muddle? I do know how to muddle. So Thanks we're gonna take much. our muddler. What's mm. a muddler? It is this stick right here that has these prickly ends on the end. So we're just gonna yep. kind of like push and twist. Yep. It's kind of like mashed potatoes. Yeah. There's a little bit more fire water, literally, which is also an, a thing for, I know this looks like a scary witch's brew. This is like something out of my grandmother's like so, so this potion. So this is um, blue cur curacao you probably heard yeah. about. The reason it gets its color is from this uh, flower, it's called the butterfly pea, P-E-A, not like urine from butterfly. But it uh, it's like a blue um, flower leaf, and so they dry them, and that's how they make blue curacao blue. I My whole thing is like very clean, and like getting things from what they actually are versus like going and buying lemon juice, like we'll use a real lemon kind of thing. Really simple things you can do. I uh, took the actual dried flowers and infused them into some mezcal, which is a smoky agave plant. So it's not a tequila, but it's like in the family. You did this in like your wardrobe well, apartment in Waco? <laughs> but there's been jalapenos with the seeds infusing for 30 days. You've been prepping this for 30 days? Well, I always do it because I like it because it's a good ingredient. We're gonna do just a tiny little bit of that. Wow, you are such a professional. Like, I knew you were a pro, you had a book. <laughs> But like now you have to dump that in there. I'm like a tiny bit, and she's like, go, 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 go. <laughs> wait, that's wait. your funeral. No, 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 you gotta do it. You gotta do wait, it. Why would you send me my funeral? <laughs> we are gonna just take some ice because this is hot enough, so we want to make it as palatable and uh -huh. chilly as possible. Okay. Um, and we are gonna shake, shake, shake. Okay. Is that air part? I think this is the cursed shaker. Oh my gosh, this is like sizzling. It yeah. sounds like boiling water. Yeah. Can you hear it? In the words of the great philosopher Kesha, this, <laughs> this place is about to blow. Okay, oh, all the no. way up. Oh no. Okay, so the, the whole thing is, is that you take it, you throw it back, and then it's supposed to be such a shock that you do the infamous- Kevin! Thing. No, the, 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 ah! Okay, got it. Kevin was his mom, but you're That's a redhead. True. She was a redhead. That's I mean, right. I get it, I get it. I make up my own rules. Okay. okay. I'm so scared. There's still more seeds in there. Ah, uh, you left me alone. <laughs> Actually very hot Mine's gonna be worse. It's fine. This girl is on fire. Oh wait, that's copyrighted. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Ah! Wait, you gotta do the face. Ah! <laughs> Except his was probably lower than that. 
I'm gonna do a thing where I'm not gonna tell you the name again. I think it's a cute name, but it's, it gives away too much. Okay. I'm gonna drop a hint, and then it's your job to pick up during the instruction period said hint. <laughs> favorite spirit, and not spirit, but favorite spirit is tequila, right? Yeah. So we are going to make a margarita variation, mm. which is so seasonal and so amazing. It's gonna be great. Great. How do you do this without being drunk? <laughs> So the first thing that we're gonna do is take uh, a canned coconut milk and we're gonna do two and a half ounces. How much, how many ounces should a cocktail have? Well, your cocktail is typically glass, which is typically about like eight ounces? to six, yeah, like eight ounces. So now we're gonna do uh, one ounce of a Blanco tequila, which is like, sometimes they call them silver, but the thing about tequila is that you wanna make sure that- It tastes good. Is, no, this, is this a good one? This is a, one of my favorites and it's actually available at Trader Joe's. And the only thing you wanna look for is that it's 100% pure agave. There's a couple of brands that can get away with calling something tequila that has like kind of filler, like from grains or whatever, but you want Ooh. it all to be from the agave plant and that's a really good place to start. We put in the tequila, put in the um, coconut milk. What's the like most essential ingredient in a- Lime? Yes, okay. exactly. So since you were on the struggle bus a little bit before, <laughs> I'm gonna have you squeeze some limes into Oh, this. I've got this. <laughs> That's good. You killed it. You killed that one. Can I keep going? Should I keep going? No, no, no. You've you've destroyed that lime slayer. Okay. She is slaying these limes. I'm like getting through them. So we are gonna do an ounce of lime juice, which you so kindly squeezed. And honestly, guys, get the real deal. Like, just do it. I know that we're like making fun, like it's so hard, but honestly, like, just do it. And we're gonna do um, orange liqueur. So now all we need to do is um, shake it. Thank you. Shake. Okay. Now let's see if we can even get this open. Cocktail liquor from hell. Ah! We are going to. No. What? I didn't tell you to do that. I'm You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay. So we're gonna grab. So now we're going to dump this in. Mm -hmm. So now we're just gonna take some Rosemary Clooney oh <laughs> and we're gonna put some Rosemary Clooney in this. Um, That's upside down. <laughs> Any hints yet with the Rosemary Clooney? Rosemary's Wait. Baby? No, okay. So Rosemary Clooney is in Wait. a movie called White Christmas and this is the White Christmas Margarita. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm mm. so excited. Okay. Mm. Mmm. It's coconut and margarita. -y. I don't feel like I taste the coconut that much. Mm -mm. It's very, coconut milk isn't like artificial coconut mm -hmm. flavor, which mm -hmm. is like what a lot of candies and stuff make you feel. And this looks so Christmassy it's too. It's super Christmassy. Can I, you I definitely see need, the Christmassiness of it? Can you see Christmas? <gasps> can you see Santa? <laughs> Classic Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. The okay, color of the drink is a big hint. White Christmas? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Like that, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, really fresh. I it's made it. Clean. Made That's it. the one she made. That's the one you made. <laughs> With extra ice. <laughs> off walk off camera. So, Dan, I'm so sad. This is our last dream. It's been such a journey. To quote the great philosopher Miley Cyrus, it's about the climb. <laughs> we are gonna do a riff on a white Russian cocktail. Um, white Russians are typically like Kahlua, Kahlua and a bunch of milk. other processed. So I don't like to do that. So um, I have some coconut cold brew. Okay. We are going to do an ounce of this and don't fill it all the way up. So you do that. We're gonna do some half and half. Okay. Because it needs to be creamy. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. it's a squirter. So we're gonna do a little hazelnut liqueur. A frangelico. A frangelico. Oof. Oh, this is like a fake cap. I forgot that. <laughs> we're gonna do a little sweetener. It's, a, it's sweet, it's nutty. Mm. It's everything you want and more. So I'm going for a gingerbread variation on this. Yes. Because it's the holiders. We are going to do. Feminine? No, we're actually gonna do a, this incredibly intense ginger liqueur. Oh. Which is. Yeah. Gingery. <laughs> it's gingerbread. But that's okay. That's okay. I, I have to quit. <laughs> super mm, intense. Super that gingery. Is... Honestly, I'd take a shot of this if I so, was sick. So, of course, you can't have white Russian without vodka. Yes. So we're gonna do a shot and a half. I'm gonna put ice. Thank you. Just some ice. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I actually did. Did I give you the hard one? Oh, oh, you got it. Oh. Ha. Ah. Okay, so now we're gonna take our strainer. <laughs> Down the mouth. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Now you're gonna take some whipped cream and go crazy. How have you typically put cinnamon on things before? Just a little 
from a jar. Yeah, Sorry just a little tap, 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 tap. So we actually have a real <gasps> cinnamon stick. And so what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna grate some cinnamon on top. This is how it gets in your jar. Oh my gosh. So is cinnamon like a tree? Like, what is that? It's gotta be bark. It's gotta be like, this is Cinnamon a tree. Bar. It's like, yeah, it's a tree. Have you ever had like Hey Siri. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's last enough. Okay, so wow. pick it up, smell it. This is actually called, wait, this is called the princess <laughs> switch. <gasps> so I hope you didn't put my drink. Wait, did you put my? Nice? No, but we just switched, so I hope it tastes good. This uh, is in honor of the Christmas movie on Netflix starring Vanessa Hortons, and where she's a princess and she's also a baker, and they switch places. This stuff. is not sponsored, by the way. This is not sponsored, it's just funny. But Vanessa, if you want to come over and drink your yeah. drink with us, you can. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good. It's so good. I'm still single, by the way. Why are you still single? drinking this I'm like I want to marry you it's can you so, be a part of my marriage it's so good wait wait what what is it that tastes so good it's the hazelnut it's the coffee it's the ginger it's the flavor combination always remember to drink responsibly for real mama's just a lightweight I could just sip and just be tipsy no 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 I'm not implying that you I'm just saying to all your little fans yeah all the fans out there if you ever have a chance to drink alcohol legally. one day legally just do so responsibly that's it and never drive it's a gingerbread white Russian. I'm gonna leave it with him because Lord knows I won't be able to do the outro of this video if I finish it. But Dan, you are incredible. I mean, I knew that about you, but oh, like, God. I don't think we've ever experienced each other in this intimate alcohol situation. True that, true that. And I'm like very impressed. I want you to open up your own like pop up bar. Thank you. Um, and you guys, he has a book. Don't forget, there's a link in the description if you want to check out all of Dan's amazing recipes. It's in his book in the description. It's called Suck It Up. And um, go follow him on Instagram because he's a micro-influencer and his content is premium and very curated. I love it. Thank you. Oh, also, I want you to try the one you made after trying mine. Oh, crap. I was, like, bragging about it. Like, it <laughs> was okay. the one I made. You did very good. Okay, did I? I drank sure? a lot of it. It's good, right? Yours is better. Well, because it's not all on the counter. <laughs> All right, you guys, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell, hit the notifications, comment in the comments what you think I should do next. Don't forget, Dan's here. Go follow him in the Instagram description below. I'm so tipsy. Also, click right over here because there is another video from Vlogmas that you don't want to miss. Yay!